And hello and welcome back my dudes. <coughs> so I'm sorry but I guess I wanted to take what just one day off on Sunday. But I guess Sundays are gonna be off from videos. But hey, welcome back to a Sakura gameplay. So since last time, uh, it was two days ago, we were focusing on building up our economy. As you can see, we have a pretty big shortage of tools in our area. I did also learn a tiny bit. I did watch like one guide uh, video just to see, you know, some basic stuff about buildings and stuff. And I realized I have made one mistake. I have been building up the entire country when you should at the beginning, you know, mostly focus on your uh, capital. So, you know, when I have uh, when I have, you know, uh, mostly worried about building the construction sectors, you see, I have built them, well, one here and one here. And you should mostly just focus on your main, you know, area for that. And we know that, oh, what, what's going on here? Uh, still turmoil, yeah. So my main area, I believe, is here. Because that's what I'm putting, yeah. But as you can see, we got a couple different areas. And one of the largest areas we have is... No, well, this is the largest area. There's 2.4 million people living here. So this is where we actually want to make most of our jobs be. Because, you know, we got 2.4 million. That's a lot of laborers. But let's get going, shall we? Uh, okay, so we're building coal mines. Coal mine, tobacco plantations, and tooling workshops. Because we need a lot of tools. And I agree, because, you know, when you want to build a country, you always need tools, you know, you don't want to work with your hands if you're going to melt some iron or lead or something like that. So, there's that too. Uh, let me just fix my microphone a little bit. Maybe not hitting the keyboard that much. So, yes, currently we are doing good. I mean, we have grown a little bit and I'm, it's still sad that, you know, uh, America is around. You know, that's going to be a pain if you ever want to expand somewhere. But that is how it goes. And how are we doing here, actually? So, as you can see, they are still powerful. They got peasant levy, served them, slave trade, local police, and inherited. Yeah. So, one thing I actually want to change away from is this. I know that uh, the landowners want this and they get more political strength from it. But I want to go over to this one. Uh, because that gives doesn't give them power but who la doesn't like it oh landowners doesn't like it but the rest of the people like it hmm. and serfdom we kind of want to get rid of the serfdom as well um yeah, and the landowners don't like it but they also get political strength from there sadly and then we got this which i also want to get banned eventually but last time, if I'm not uh, if I'm not wrong, we do be have begin to have elections. So hopefully, you know, I can, you know, uh, help a little bit with that. And yeah, incorporating yeah, yeah, we were incorporating this territory as well. But I do hope that I can manage to make the landowners you know lose eventually. It's gonna take a while, of course. Uh, before I do anything. If I do some taxes on some luxury stuff, maybe. Uh, if I do, for example. I mean, I kind of want to do a tobacco, honestly. Uh, because we get more money. Money is important. Let's see. Yeah, we might want to get a at least one or two more construction. So, if I'm not mistaken, mm, where is our main capital? I think it is Gusau. I mean, I feel like it is Gusau, honestly. Isn't it? Yeah, it, no, yeah. Yeah, it is capital. Yeah. So, we're gonna build one construction center here, and we're gonna build one construction center there. Because that's going to maximize uh, building efficiency in those areas. And it's going to massively help our economy a bit. 
it's gonna make make us drop a bit more in income wise but i believe we have such a good income at the moment that we can always build two more but i will also have to build uh, increased wood output and a fabric output because you know they use uh, output uh, fabric and such to build and you know we want to preferably not go into too much minus when it comes to that as you can see we're already in minus a bit <laughs> so we want to build more yeah places to put out wood uh, i believe if i'm not mistaken if i go to the market take a look at them uh, the price isn't that bad i mean it's rising for sure Hmm. Let's see. Let's see how much the price increases. Yeah, it increases a little bit. But the most important part is that with 12 construction now, instead of only what we have. Let's see. The nice thing is now we are actually producing coal, so that's good. But we need tools. Tools is a massive thing that we have a shortage of. And I mean, we're building them after just one tobacco plantation. And then we get, well, yeah. Which is nice. We can finally begin producing tools. But unfortunately, we also need, well, wood, obviously. Uh, let's see. Let's do two there and two there. Make sure those are producing some wood for us. So yeah, my Sunday have been quite nice. <clears throat> so I just had to, you know, just get some rest and, you know, play some Call of Duty. Yeah, the new Call of Duty is actually pretty good. There's a couple of bugs I noticed there, though, uh, especially with the campaign where, you know, if you die, the screen just goes, you know, uh, black and you never get to continue in the game. But... That's for another time. Okay, so now we're finally building that plantation. And as you can see, more convoys. And you're still researching mechanical tools, which is nice. But we can't exactly build it. Okay, back up plantation, done. But a few weeks for a tool workshop, okay. I just hope we can get, you know, more tools pretty soon. Because we need it desperately. Mm. How is this looking? If I went back to this, yeah, I would actually have much more <laughs> substitution if I go back. Oh my god. Do we have that much wheat or something? No, we don't. But I don't see how exactly this, yeah. I guess I go over to it for now then. I think a main reason for that is because we don't have, you know, tools to, you know, uh, enough tools to support our entire area. I think that's the main reason we have a problem with it. Oh my god. Taxation problems here, for sure. I think the buildings here... It should be fine. Uh, 210 bureaucracy. And we currently have... Yeah, we need more. Oh, wait, we should have enough. I think that I think we just have a problem with the amount of people. Mm. Yeah, it's incorporated. Sukutvadai, one hundred and sixty-six thousand people. Always nice to have some more. Yes. Uh, it doesn't really have any special, uh, doesn't really have any special, uh, resources, unfortunately. But the most important is we have uh, gotten them incorporated. So that, you know, we finally can... Oh, look! The tools are definitely getting produced now. Uh, let's see what we need. Uh, because I know this is for steel working. We don't really have steel yet. So there's that too. Maybe we should focus somewhere here. Uh, psychiatry plus 10% influence. Population cost modifier. We, we don't really need that currently. Uh, Quinai, maybe? I think that I can go for that because, you know, if we want to ever colonize here, we need definitely some 
we need to actually speed up our colonization progress. Because at the moment we would get a reducement of like 10, 90%. So it would be really slow. I'm really glad for one thing. We have managed to increase our GDP to number 21 worldwide. And we are number 35 in rank. Which is pretty good. We're not a major power yet, but we're getting somewhere. You guys are cautious towards us for some reason. <laughs> hey, Spain, how you doing? So I know that we are... Uh, Actually, yeah, we got we got a, a defensive pact with Spain and Vadai, I believe. If I could get one in America, I'm pretty much set. If you know ever anybody want to attack me, I mean, I gotta say though, America is pretty weak compared to Britain. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, goddamn. Balance excluding temporary income and expenses. Nice, 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 nice. My budget is even on just medium taxes. How is things looking here, boys? For some reason, we are having more ra radicals. Seems like they're slowly decreasing, though. So that's good. Yep, they're decreasing. Ah. Both yes and no. They're decreasing, but at the same time, they're... Well, yeah. Let's just let it be for now, then. Uh, the most important thing is now we gotta try to get some loss going. Yes? So, I wanna get this one, I believe. Uh, yeah. Let's try to see if we can get that one through. I know the rural folk ain't gonna like it that much. Technology spread is a little decreased, but that's okay. Siek refused to become the protector of the Netherlands. Yeah, it looks like uh, America is definitely. No, uh, Africa is definitely getting <laughs> taken over. God damn, people. But you guys gotta support no colonial affairs that much. I just wanna colonize, you know, just take the land for ourselves. You know, help them get better technology and everything, you know. Jesus. I'm gonna guess it's gonna debate, yeah. Unfortunately, it's gonna debate, so I think that's just meaning that it will go to 0%. If it does, I can't really do anything. Election! Let's see who does what. The Liberal Party is 28%, Momentum is 87%, while these have 61%, 71%. Okay. I want the Liberal Parties instead of uh, the other ones. Yeah. Hey, nice, 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 nice. That's a good one, actually. If we can manage to get it, I will be able to colonize this. Hopefully, before Britain does anything, then I can, you know, begin colonizing down here. Hopefully, get some land, get some more people into my working area. Oh yeah, the Liberal Party for the win. 107%. God damn, that's actually pretty good momentum. <laughs> uh, so they definitely managed to increase their uh, amount of support a little bit, which is really good. Unfortunately, the Conservative Party won again. It's really sad. But that's how it goes until we can actually do something about it. The most important thing is that we are at least trying to get some fun things in order. So I'm really glad we managed to get land and boating in order. Because, you know, obviously we want that. Uh, wait, it doesn't give power to them, do they? No, it doesn't. I kind of thought they would give power to the landowners, but thankfully it didn't. Really? 
Yeah, they don't like it. But I'll do it for this time. I know they don't like it. But I want to get it through. So for the 8.7% to happen next time. Yes. And here we go. Another tool. I don't understand why am I building... Yeah, I don't practically get why I'm building all of the workshops there. <laughs> industry. Let's see. How is the industry looking for tools currently? Okay, it's pretty expensive. But with all the tools, I, tools, uh, tool areas I built now, it should be okay. And you know, as people begin working there, they should definitely begin to produce more, uh, well, tools, obviously. Let me see if I can do this. Uh, from social security, as well as there. Those two areas are important when it comes to it. As well as getting some, you know, good stuff going. And soon this mod might go, go through as well, which is amazing. Uh, I'm thinking we should definitely try to get these on the drive side. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I can do that, considering we're still isolationists. Uh, and apparently everybody loves that we are isolationists. Well, the landowners and world people. But I would love to go over to mercantilism or protectionism. Yeah. That would definitely help. Please go through. Please. Yes. Okay, so now we have finally got colonization through. Let me see, where is it? No, that's not it. Where is it? God dang. I want to start colonizing, but I don't... Pro it's like that one button for colonization. It's always the one that I keep forgetting where it is. <laughs> It's not here. Oh, established colony. Thank you. We do not have the required Queen 9 technology. Yeah, so that's good. It's really good that I started on the Queen 9 technology. Because that would also that will also remove the uh, penalty for this. Severe malaria. So minus 95% colony growth speed in non-homeland states. So that will be removed upon the research of Queen 9 technology. Thank you, technology, for helping us. I'm really glad we managed to do that. And I asked one thing. I should definitely be able to try to get this. Let's see. Uh, decree. Wait, what do I need to get that again? So for that, I need bureaucracy. God dang it. Crystal glass that I'm never probably going to make. Maybe someday. Look at this. God damn. I'll make some day. I'll make some day. As you can see, we don't have enough qualification in this one to build it. So maybe we're gonna build one in those three areas. Because you know you preferably want to have one area that has enough people in it. <laughs> and well, this one is building a lot of log uh, producing areas. So you know, we're getting some logs into the market. Oh my god. Yeah, talk about logs. Uh this price might actually plummet down pretty soon. But, I don't mind. Wood is love, wood is life. And we got 13 construction, which is amazing. How much longer? 13 weeks left, okay. Uh, we might actually begin producing some paper, actually. Mm, considering we need actually paper to produce fine art, for example. And we also need uh, paper to actually use our... I'll be able to get a proper university. Yes. And the university, you get actually plus two innovation and you also get 10% qualifications. So, you know, if I maybe did it in this country. We got more people here. So, I get one there. Then I also use one with more paper. Here. 
And boom, we will soon have a working university and we got wood for life. Well, I mean, for life and life. <laughs> the most important part is we, that I learned is that, you know, I don't fully understand why is that little part yellow compared. Is there something going on here compared? Nah, I guess not. But the most important part is, uh, whoa, look at this. I like the in, uh, illustration that you know, you're actually cutting down stuff. But the most important part to begin with is that we are building up our industry. So as we build a university, we build paper, you know, the university uses paper and the paper uh, process uh, facility makes papers, you know, that that's going to make a market for it. And, you know, it's going to be lovely. There we go. We got uh, Queen Nine Tech. Anarchist Society. Human rights. Yeah, you got a lot of rights, peeps. Uh, General staff. Should I get that? Maybe not yet. Field works. I'll get that one. You might want to have some defense on your things. Thank you. Oh my god. That's gonna take a quite a long time. But as soon as we get our paper processing plant up and going, I might actually just build that currently before I do anything else. Uh, I'm gonna actually change one thing. Not that one. Mm, not that one. Oh, it's not there. Wait, we do? Yeah, this one. We're gonna go to sulfide pulping. No, we're not, because that's gonna produce self need sulfur but we are going to go from simple organization to this one filing cabinets but apparently from what i see we need actually more paper than we are producing do we have anywhere with sulfur no we don't unfortunately i'm going to produce another one and since those produce 40 each i'm going to produce another one so free paper processing plants just to cover all the administration buildings and the university. <laughs> I mean, I can't complain. I mean, as long as we're getting a little better. Uh, serfdom. I want to get ab uh, abolished, of course. Uh, trade unions like it. Industrialized like it. Intelligentsia like it. Royal people like it. The landowners don't like it so much. So that's going to be a problem if you do that. The problem with this is... The, ooh, Everybody likes this, except for industrialists. I want to do this as well. Mm. Additional bureaucracy cost, minus 72. We can do this, guaranteed liberties. National Guard would in yeah. Hmm, which one? The only people don't like this is armed forces and Petite Burgois, but the intelligentsia like it. Peasant levies, how about this? Uh what do we want of these? Because I know the landowners don't like that much. The landowners love the peasant levies, obviously. Yeah, go away, go away. Thank you. Mm, if he did this, yeah, the industrialists would love it. Mm. I, I gotta wait a little bit for that, actually. So for this one, I know that the uh, landowners get a lot of, yeah. Political population cost modifier. Painted by rules is your best interest. I want to get this one. I know that I don't shouldn't you know give power to one specific area, but we need something. Uh, no. Oh, we could get universal suffrage. But obviously, the industrialists don't like it, and the landowners don't like it, for some reason.
Definitely should get rid of that one. Yeah, the Llanos don't like that. Mm. If I get this one instead... Minus 20 state penalties... I'm just thinking about the next law that I should definitely get, you know? Uh, considering, you know, we want to make sure that the Llanos lose less power, or lose more power every time. But the thing is, they don't like most of them, so, you know, there's that too. <clears throat> I'm just thinking about which one would be morally correct as well. Some one of them that we have an okay chance to deal with. If I do this one, I would do they would... Yeah, I, I go for the police force to begin with. I don't see why not. It's better than no area, and st there's still fussing about the restored no colonization order. So, you know, it's one area to start with. But hey, we still got our little puppets. Benin, yay. How are you doing? Are you guys building anything at all? Are you doing anything? They definitely increased their uh, conscription centers, I see. The workshops, they got furniture manufactories. But the most important thing at the moment is that we build up our industry, our uh, GDP. As I can see, we have already built it up to 9.3 million. Well, 9.33 million. And as you can see, it's just skyrocketed, essentially. So our industry is doing... Well, our economy is doing amazing. I, I believe that's the highest I managed to get it, like, just for making my own country. I, I had to play a little bit myself. But I still consider this to be a noob gameplay because, you know, I'm still really a noob. I'm just trying to take some tips and just see, okay, is there any better way to do it than I am currently doing, for example. We got some paper. Let's see. Uh, industry, filing cabinets. Yeah, we will get a lot of bureaucracy. Thank you. And I do want to get this. There we go. And I'm going to guess a paper is going to be expensive as hell. As you can see, when I enacted that, you know, the prices just boomed up. So, as I build paper later, we're going to be producing better paper. Let me just put them up, actually. Gun need to deliver internet has been openly preaching about the benefits of mysterious and seeking political gamble coming out. Bring through our government and ask details he smiles coyly refusing to elaborate. The basically tall hands, his constant don't seem to pay attention to these strange qualities, but uh, gamble success for the only in Yeah, it also obvious failing. Sharif. I'll do that because that means they have less popularity and people will be less inclined to help them or support them. Which again is a good thing. I just want to get rid of them. <laughs> okay, so how are we looking when it comes to everything here? Russia is still doing good. Great Ching is doing good. Africa is still not fully colonized. Chile has taken over a lot of area. America is down here for some reason. America, what the hell are you doing everywhere? Aren't you supposed to be down doing some stuff out there? Oh look, Cherokee. Indian territory as well. America is kind of being weird, if I'm going to be honest. Nice. Yeah, still didn't go through, but the... F At least the success has increased 10%. So it is uh, definitely getting forward. 
And if I manage to get that one through, that means they will have less political power. Yes. From the... Well, from the... From the police. So that's good. And the intelligence yeah, is definitely getting there. I see that they have definitely increased their support. Or, yeah. So next, maybe next... Uh, election maybe the one after that you know it's gonna be definitely some better increases in the terms of how well they can do how is this looking path to liberalism uh okay nice 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 so we want to get one of these i guess first event freedom equality and brotherhood so we probably want to get uh universal sanford uh sanford you want to get this one Suffrage or universal suffrage. Uh, we we want to get one of those. We can complete that one. And hopefully we can, you know, get some proper uh, elections. Where we make someone else be like the uh, leading party in this country. Hopefully the industrialists. Or the intelligentsia. But I believe the intelligentsia is like anti-slavery, republican, anti-clerical, uh, liberal. So, yeah, I mean, they're good. Right of assembly, protected speech, property the woman. I don't feel like the property woman is that good, though. So, hopefully, if possible, I want to dedicate... No, the... Yeah. Everybody to be equal. Oh, my God. That's not good. As you can see, I increased that speed of that, which is good. And boom, we got more paper, and the paper shortage is, for now, over. What I see. Kind of wish I would go to this one, but that is kind of expensive, if you ask me. I maintain single crop. Oh, yes. We will do that for sure. And as you can see, when we fixed our uh, tool shortage now, you can see now the substitution for the no tools one is pretty bad. So, we have definitely managed to do something good with doing that. How is this looking? I mean... Apparently it's better for doing open air stockyards. I'm gonna guess it's because of the tools still, but hey! At least we managed to figure out some of it and, you know... Made it a little bit better. That's good. We don't really use hardwood yet, so there's that too. So yeah, for now, we're doing quite good. The farms are doing better. We're earning more money from it. And, I mean, our tool shortage, I think, is okay. Yeah, I don't see any tool shortage at all. I mean, it's still a little bit short. Uh... Oh yeah, less popularity. Let's let's go. <laughs> it's better that. Mm. As you can see, he has 25% from Fall from Grace. Minus. As you can see, the popularity for uh, Cloud for Sunni Ulema is just dropping. It's dropping like a baseball or dropping like a volleyball. And that, my friends, is the most important part. Almost 10 million GDP. I think I need to become a friend with them. <coughs> yeah, why not? Let's just become friends, Britain, shall we? Oh my god, they just dropped. What the hell? What are you happening to you guys? They just went up to 83%. Oh, they got the armed forces on the side. Maybe that's why. Yep, the armed forces just went to conservative. That's not good. Kind of wish that would stay uh, liberal. So I guess maybe that does, didn't work out as we expected. We got some bad axes. Okay. What are input charges? We got small arms and artillery. That is pretty bad. Yeah. We're safe for change. And going for there we go. 
I'm not gonna give the conservative party anything. Okay, so we got paper mills level three. Let's look at this. It's not cute to see this little small baby just moving around. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but as you can see, I, I believe that as you build up, you get more smaller cities popping up around the area. As you can see here, Lafia, Toro, Bucky, Damaturu, Maiduguri, Goza. It's kind of cold. Just, you know, as you up here, you see a couple cities, and then once you go close, you see small, more. Okay, we need to see more in. Yeah, uh, steam donkey, what's that? Coal mines, iron mines, sulfur mines. We don't have sulfur, so that's really sad, honestly. I would love to have some, but I don't think we have any areas. Pan nationalism, ethno state law, central banking, we get 10% minting, construction sector level, and we get. Plus 0 0.05 infrastructure from population and plus 10%. Now plus 10 maximum infrastructure from population. I'm gonna get that one. We need taxation. I mean, our bank is full, so there's that too, so. <laughs> Boo. Please go through. Please. Bless. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that one. At least the armed forces are going to lose no, support now. Still kind of sad, though. If I ever were to take out the reform government and take out the conservative party, how would that look? I said bring in some other folks, maybe? Nope. I'll do that then, and I'll just... Bring the taxes down, plus five legit legitimacy. Oh, Italy has forms. That's nice. So it's kind of sad to see this, though, unfortunately. Okay, we are definitely getting somewhere, at least. You know, as we progress in technology, more parties are going to form and more people are going to support different things, which is going to be good. And how is the market looking currently? So, for market, we do have indeed... Shares is pretty behind, I see. So, as we're building this, we get people out of subsistence farms and instead get them into the factory where they can produce more. Instead of, you know, yeah. Uh, buildings, how is this looking? That is looking okay. It's very firm. They produce. They use more tools. They produce more coal. And how are we looking when it comes to tools exactly? It's still pretty bad. Okay, so tools. How are you looking? We need more iron if we're ever gonna produce this. Jesus, look at this. Steel tools. I wanna. I actually kind of wanna get it. Uh, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're gonna ha be able to do that yet because we need more much more iron and at the moment we're producing practically nothing why is it so bad uh okay let me see maybe yeah let me see here uh why oh it's because we don't have workers for it two shopkeepers were fired for some reason uh, yeah, it's zero cash reserves, zero anything. 
But why is it like a minus 100? That's my good question. So the mine is not working at all because there's no one higher there for some reason. Maybe they don't have people to work. I mean, it's like 500,000 people. So I'm going to guess most other places got somewhere. We got logging camps, miller farms, coffee, tobacco. Yeah, I think that might be the reason. Maybe because of the barracks as well. That's like... Just resize down to 10. Maybe that gonna help a little bit. Yeah, as you can see, when I resized it down, we get more unemployed people. Now we got 50,000 peasants. And now they can finally hire people in. No, that's good. So it's kind of sad that, that this is the only area we can actually build, make an iron mine. And we can't really use it. How is this institution looking? Okay, good. 0 0.3. So we're, we're slowly making our way. Uh, I thought we got rid of that severe malaria. Didn't we? I mean, technology. Queen 9, please. Yeah, hey, we got rid of it. So I don't fully understand. I don't fully understand. Uh... Ah, okay. So we need to actually go down further to be able to do it. I see. So that's why it takes so long. Because, you know, there's still severe malaria. So you still get a penalty, unfortunately. But at least we're getting somewhere. Furniture factory, and now we're building university. And our university definitely has paper, I believe. Nope. Unfortunately not. Jeez, that's taking ages. How's the government looking? Uh, slowly, I guess. Yeah, it's gonna be a pain to deal with this. But yeah, as we all understand, Victoria Free is like a slow-paced game, you know? It's, uh, the combat is not like, you know, uh, Hearthstone 4 or, you know, Europa and Chalice. I'm gonna guess, like, Victoria Free is a bit more like a, uh, in the, no, economic simulator, where you use the economy to your liking. <laughs> Instead. But... Unfortunately, guys, with this, I will end today's episode. Not too much happened. It's mostly building and, you know, talking about different stuff. But I still do hope you enjoyed it. So, if you did, I hope you hit that subscribe button and like button, if you want to. And I will see you next time, where hopefully we can see if we can, you know, maybe get Damagram or Bonu. I'm going to think about it. Because I'm a little scared of United States of America on my side. They most likely have better technology and everything. But until then, I'll see you next time, and I hope you have a good time. Thank you.